Hundreds of students, tons of cars, and a whole lot of stickers. This is the parking lot. I'm Tim with BDTV, and I'm here to show you proper parking lot etiquette. One major problem in the parking lot is not having enough spots. The problem is, when somebody parks somewhere one day, another person parks there another day. You know, it kind of gives me a headache because there's not enough parking spaces and like, you know, all the people that aren't supposed to park in the senior parking lot do park in the senior parking lot, take my spaces. So I have to park way in the back and walk like 10 minutes to get to my class. And you know, I just have migraines and it's really affecting my schoolwork. I think it's just one big problem after another, Tim. I mean, uh, people parking in your spot, if we really need to have assigned spots here. I think the parking lot's becoming too much trouble because uh, there's nowhere to park and our underclassmen take the upperclassmen spots. So please, students, park in the same spot every day. Another problem is when students want to sleep in the morning. Many other students come up and bother them at their own windows. It gets me really angry in the morning when I'll just try to be uh, doing my homework or sleeping in my car and people just come up and start knocking on the window. I mean, it hurts. Hey, what's going on, Jack? Whoa. So please, students, be courteous and let them sleep even if it means sleeping through school. Well, Winter Haven, there should be no excuse for being too tired, being too loud, or being too late. This has been Tim with BDTV. The Civil Rights Movement is a recurring event, one that we may not cover enough. I'm Tim LaHaye with BDTV. Let's go check out how these events may have changed the course of American history. During filming at Martin Luther King's Park, I met a man named Willis who grew up in Winter Haven in the 60s. How has life changed in Winter Haven since after the Civil Rights Movement? Oh, it changed a lot because one time, I remember the time we could even come down here to this park. I have a dream that one day, down After speaking with Willis, I realized he's living the life that Dr. Martin Luther King believed all African Americans should be entitled to. When delivering the I Have a Dream speech, Dr. Martin Luther King wanted the nation to live up to its creed, that all men are created equal. Is the quality of life for African Americans better now than before the Civil Rights Movement? I think it's better. I think it's better. Because you can get jobs, better jobs, you can get better jobs now than you could then. Because most of the jobs that you got then was the jobs that the uh, white folks didn't want to do. Another person heavily involved in the Civil Rights Movement was Rosa Parks, a woman who refused to give up her seat for a white person on the bus in Montgomery, Alabama. Parks later explained her actions in her autobiography. She said, People always said I didn't give up my seat because I was tired. But that's not true. The only tired I was, was tired of giving in. Martin Luther King and Rosa Parks might be two people that helped African Americans like Willis achieve freedom. But don't forget, for these two, there was thousands more behind the movement. Though I've touched on the surface of the Civil Rights Movement, don't let time confuse you. The same rights they fought for then, people are fighting for now. This has been Tim with BDTV. Well, as you can see, I'm keeping up with the best winter fashion ever. So if you want to attend the best pancake breakfast, Key Club members are selling tickets. It's an all-you-can-eat pancake breakfast and auction on Saturday, March 10th from 7 to 12. The cost is $5 per ticket and children under 6 are free. Tickets can be purchased from any Key Club member or in room 21 before and after school. The breakfast will be held at the Chain of Lakes Complex Gymnasium.
Now to Kaylee. Too. I'm your host Tim LaHaye with the BDTV Notable Show. Well first, no show would be complete without an editor, and this one stands out as the one and only. This year's best editor, Miss Shayla Williams. Now it's time for one of the most important notables, most talented, and it goes to none other than Miss Kaylee Bizell. Kaylee has an uncanny ability to wow anybody in her audience. Hello! Hello! And now for our graphics man of the year. It comes down to Tom Foltz and Jack Gray. And the winner is... Drum roll, please. Tom Foltz. Congratulations, Tom. Last but not least in anchor of the year and the anchor of the year goes to stone phillips but stone's not here to receive his award so i will accept it on his behalf well that's all for this year i hope you enjoyed the bdtv notable show this has been your host tim lahey good night winter haven we'll see you next year In BDTV, we have the great pleasure of spending time with Tom Foltz. This is Tim with BDTV. Student profile, Tom Foltz, whether he cooperates or not. Tom has a very important job in BDTV. Tom makes the openings you see, the commercials you see, and some of the graphics. Tom is working under one of the best editors in the county, Shayla Williams, but Tom just can't amount to anything that she is today. Tom's occupation, other than graphics and BDTV, is as a soccer ref. He spends his time on the field helping little children every weekend. Tom grew up in the small town of Winter Haven, and his father is a band director at Denison Middle School. Another interesting fact, Tom's mother was one of the first female astronauts in the United States. Tom is actually a descendant of the Trump family and may actually inherit part of the fortune. He told me that he enjoys skiing, hiking, and sometimes even mountain biking. He actually goes bow hunting in North Carolina with the rest of his family on his 3,100 billion square foot mansion. Tom says that he goes on vacation to the French Alps. I'm sure you have a great life ahead of you. So of course, with a band director and a female astronaut, he must make one great child. This has been Tim LaHaye. Student profile, Tom Foltz. Good evening, TV Land. I'm Dr. Phil Alpino. Stay tuned for relationship problems and stress with the work week. Good evening. I'm here with my first guest, Ryan Gaffney. Good evening, Ryan. Good evening. It's nice to meet you. Thank you. I see that you have problems with relationships. That I do. Well, let's get to the root of that. Uh, what, what do you think caused this relationship problem? Well, uh, I'd probably have to say it uh, all started back in middle school. I mean, those, those five years were so traumatizing to me. I mean, I'd, I'd meet a girl in the class. She, she'd talk to me. I would think she was coming on to me. And I mean, right then and there, I'd, I'd, I'd go at her. I, I didn't want her to get away. I mean, I, I knew her for a day. I mean, 
Uh, that's like one second. I knew her for like 24,000 of those already. I mean, I thought that was enough. I, but, but then they would say I was moving in too quick, and then they'd just leave me. <laughs> Ryan, I understand your position, and um, you shouldn't feel alone because, you know, many people your age suffer. And it's, it's called attachment detachment disorder. And it's a chemical imbalance in the brain. And you shouldn't be ashamed of it. In fact, you should harness that imbalance and go for other people with that imbalance. So fortunately, I have a number for you and it's a hotline for ADD sufferers like yourself. And what they'll do is they'll forward your number to other ADD sufferers and uh, you can go on a date with them. And it will, you know, 12 hours will seem like 12 years. And that'll be amazing. Perfect for you, I'm sure. And I think emotionally you can grow to be a better person. What do you think about that? I love it. It's beautiful. These are the words from Ryan Gaffney. Now the commercial break. Why, thank you, James. And if you need a buddy to go to Dream Girl with you, I'll be there. Speaking of Dream Girl, all the applications for Dream Girl are due today. So if you're interested in doing that, make sure you turn it in to Mrs. Alexander. Also, all scholarships except for Bright Future scholarships and all federal and state financial aid will require the FAFSA form to be completed. It is based on your family's 2007 income. FAFSA on the web worksheets are available in Mrs. Bachman's office. All seniors who are planning to attend any post-secondary institution should submit these forms. Even more interesting, sophomores are holding a Valentine's Day dance on February 9th from 7.30 to 10.30. Tickets are $8 and they are on sale right now in the sophomore hallway near Mr. Sylvie's room. The dance will be semi-formal and the homecoming dress code does apply. There will be no guests allowed, so can't take that random cousin Otis from Indiana. You know, speaking of random, I think on the show we do more random things than announcements. So let's go to BDTV Outtakes. Welcome back, audience. I'm here with Brad Lang. Good evening, Brad. Good evening, Doctor. Brad seems to have problems with his work week. A lot of stress, he says. So, Brad, let's get to the root of this. What do you think that your problem is with the work week? Well, I, I, honestly, I, I try to perform at a high level every day and every hour, and I, I just I can't seem to please my boss no matter what. And it's, it's really starting to get to get to me, and it makes me really want to almost hurt people. I don't want to do that. I don't think they're going to leave me much choice if I don't get some appreciation. I understand that. You okay? You going to be okay? I think so. It's okay, bro. By, by listening to your story, I'm very touched. In fact, you're one of two cases I know. I think that you're actually suffering from high-level velocity. And high-level velocity is actually a, um, it's a sickness of the mind, it's not really a chemical imbalance, and what happens is you're working under someone, you feel like you have to achieve a high level of something, and so your mind is telling you that you can't do it because they're telling you you can't do it, and you know what, it's not your problem. So I suggest for you, Brad, that uh, you don't show up to work for the next couple weeks, but demand your pay, demand your pay. And then next time you go to work, in fact, next time you go to work, tell them that you broke your toe, and if they don't believe you, then break your toe at work, and, and you can collect uh, workers' compensation. And uh, I think that should be your yeah your solution uh, is is to either hurt yourself or hurt their work week. And um, if you can do that, you'll be a better man. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you so much. I try. Thank you. We'll be back after this commercial break.
Well, that's all for this week. Stay tuned next week where we touch base with animal literacy problems and a fear of kinkachus. So for Ryan and Brad, I'm Dr. Phil Apino. Tim LaHaye, four-time Poppendorf award-winning anchor. He works to keep people together. And Tim LaHaye befriends everyone, no matter who they are. Tim LaHaye is known to do his job, including printer maintenance, sweeping, and drawing lines. That's right, drawing lines. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, <coughs> what, what, what are you telling these people? Excuse me? You can't tell them that. That's these not are true. No, they're all facts. No, no. These are factual they're, facts. They're all lies. Whatever. No, Don't Devin. listen to them. Devin, that's Don't not true. Devin, him. go away. You're asking for it. No. All right, you asked for it. No. Ah! Anyway, Tim LaHaye, only on BDTV. Good morning, Winter Haven. I'm Tim, and as you can see, I'm looking for the sneaky critter, the groundhog. But every time I get near him, he just slips right out of my grip. And I think he went that way, so let's continue on with the hunt for the groundhog. But before we head too far into our adventure, I think it's a good idea to get some background on the creature we're dealing with. Groundhog Day is based mainly on German superstition that if the groundhog saw a shadow, we would have six more weeks of winter. Well, now that you know a little more about the history of the groundhog, I think it's easier for us to deal with the creature himself. I'm ready to go in, Winterhaven. Follow me. Ah! Ah! Get the I lost him. Well, Winterhaven, I'm near the front office now. I'm gonna go in, look for the groundhog, and hopefully come out with him. Well, apparently they won't let me search the office, so we're going to have to press on somewhere else. After starting this search for the groundhog, I've come to four conclusions. He's a very furry, elusive creature. We will never know when winter ends. He can obviously defend himself very well. And the office is obviously aiding and abetting the groundhog. This has been Tim LaHaye, Hunt for the Groundhog.